People with type 1 diabetes may develop complications such as severe low blood sugar from having to use insulin over the long term. Now researchers in Philadelphia are testing a therapy that may help protect them from this life-threatening condition. A brush. As the mother of 10-year-old twins Kendall and Garrett, Erica Totten is never off duty. But just a few years ago, a chronic condition caused her health to go downhill. Insulin no longer controlled her type 1 diabetes. My speech would be really slurred. I'd kind of just be like all over the place from like one topic to another. Erica was severely hypoglycemic and would suffer side effects from low blood sugar without warning. I actually crashed my car with them in it. My three-year-old daughter... If she hadn't told the policeman that mommy has bad sugar, he wouldn't have even known because he probably would have thought I was like drunk driving because that's apparently what it looks like. Diabetes researcher Michael Rickles is studying a cutting edge therapy for severe type 1 diabetics, a transplant of special pancreatic cells. The benefits of being able to maintain their glucose levels in a near normal and stable range without hypoglycemia would outweigh those. Uh, uh, the downsides of immunosuppression. Islet cells are removed from a donor pancreas, processed and infused into a patient's liver. The islets contain cells that produce insulin. Doctors at Penn tested the procedure in a small number of patients. Two months of, uh, from transplant, seven of the 11 patients were able to taper off their insulin therapy. Well, why don't you start reviewing this? And I'll quiz you. Erica's one patient who's now insulin free. It's a miracle. I don't know how else to explain it. Like, it really has changed my life completely. Now, Dr. Rickle says four of the patients needed a second infusion of ILIS before they were able to stop taking insulin. However, now this transplant therapy for type 1 diabetes mm -hmm. is still investigational. Sure. So, promising. Great. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you, Charlotte.